Hey guys, Rich Page, our Jemathan Timber Frame Company, the main timber framer. I want to take a couple minutes today to talk a little bit about shop band saws. And we just did a changeover from our standard guides to the Carter guides. Let me grab the camera, move around, and show you uh, what they look like and what we're trying to achieve by changing the guides. All right. So we run an old, this is an old uh, Rockwell bandsaw. Close the door, you can see it a little bit better. Delta Rockwell, it's a model uh, 28-3XO bandsaw. So this is what we run for a shop bandsaw. We use it primarily to cut a curve in braces. Uh, so that's what we're using it for. We run it with a one inch wood miser blade it's seven eighths two spacing 10 10 degree pitch uh we actually sharpen it on, on our bandsaw sharpener here but what i wanted to talk about was changing out the guides this is the new guide that we put on and these are the old guides that we took off let me move them over here and what you'll see with the old guides as the blade was going through we didn't really get much support on the blade for the one inch, we would only get into this area here. So the blade was able to twist and turn. And what we wanted to do is better manage that. So that's how, why we ended up buying the Carter Guides. This is the Carter Guide, uh, pretty much bolt on, plug and play. The only thing we really had to modify, if you look on top here, made a little aluminum block here and uh, drilled and tapped the Carter Guide to hold this aluminum block and put a couple screws in it to hold the uh, the guide system so the guide system will go up and down as you move your blade uh, guide up and down so we put a we put the guides on here coming down underneath the machine you can see we put it on here uh, these these are uh, I think they're going to work out pretty well we've got the blade pretty well centered this right here uh, controls the action for the back roller. Uh, we've got it set off right now um, a little more than a sixteenth, so we'll see how this is. This knob, if you loosen this set screw here, this knob moves the wheel forward or back on a cam, so that's kind of nice. We've got a lot more engagement potential up here on these uh, rollers than what we had for the uh, originals and that's what we wanted to achieve is a stiffer blade so that when we do a curve we bend or slide the wood through on a curve but we're not necessarily deflecting the blade that was the whole intent so that's what we've done we've got the same setup up here on the top and we're going to do some cutting on this looks like uh we got some pretty close tolerance here with the guide but i think we're going to be okay so it looks like we've got a pretty good setup here. Just wanted to share what a Carter guide set looks like. This, again, is the uh, the Delta Rockwell 28-3OX. Uh, uh, and this is an old saw. Picked it up, had it in the shop for years. Uh, but we thought we'd put some new guides on it. So I want to share that with you. Give me some thoughts. Give me some feedback. Click like and